Film has a long history in New Mexico, but mostly northern New Mexico. Las Cruces city leaders recently continued their discussion about the vacant film liaison position and, as an extension, the film industry. State Representative Jeff Steinborn, who's in Santa Fe several months of the year, came with the message that there's money to be made, a lot of money. This is real business. This is real dollars and cents in our state. This is a 600 plus million dollar industry in the state of New Mexico. The film industry is Mark Vasconcelos' passion. He's an instructor at Doña Ana Community College, a professional actor and filmmaker. I love acting, I love shooting, I love directing. And as anybody can tell, you know, once you got the bug, you just want to keep doing it and keep working. To keep working, many New Mexico actors travel north to Albuquerque and Santa Fe, where sound stages are located. Here's why Vasconcelos says that's important. Basically, when you have a large movie, let's say The Lone Ranger, and they wanted to come down here and do shooting around Las Cruces or some of the neighboring cities, they usually need a home base. The last major film to come through Las Cruces was Due Date. Representative Steinborn says he believes he can allocate money toward a soundstage and backlot to attract more films. The Las Cruces City Council today embraced this idea of creating a film district or a film park here uh, somewhere in the city, perhaps on the West Mesa, that we could uh, try to get some funding for a backlot. The city of Las Cruces would likely receive that money only if the soundstage is built within city limits. Every year, the state hands out $50 million in incentives. That remains a big draw for studios, whether it's used in the north or the south. We have major studios in Albuquerque and Santa Fe now. So what we're trying to do is really tap into this incredible economic opportunity. Sloan Patton, CARE WG News.